Hey everyone, welcome back, okay? So we're gonna be working, okay? We're gonna be working on object pronouns, okay? Vamos a estar trabajando los object pronouns, okay? Look, object pronouns. Me, you, us, them, him, her, it. Okay, some of object pronouns, okay? Look, this is video, okay? This is video, video number two. Video number two, okay? Class work, okay? Class work. Es trabajo en clase. Esto es un ejercicio, okay? Good. If you, if you are learning, okay? If you're learning English, okay? Estás aprendiendo inglés. And then example, you're, um, you want to learn. You want to learn how to use object pronouns. Si quieres aprender a los object pronouns, okay, good. I have a video, video number one. Tengo un video number one en los object pronouns para que veas la explicación, okay? Watch, watch the full video, the explanation, and then you can work this exercise. Y luego puedes trabajar este ejercicio, okay, good? But first, if you haven't watched, okay, if you haven't watched video one, si no has visto el video uno, primero tienes que ver ese video uno con la explicación sobre los object pronouns para que lo puedas hacer bien, okay, good? Now, but let me, <clears throat> let me remind, let me remind you of uh, some things that you need to know about object pronouns. Déjame recordarte de unas cosas que tienes que saber de los object pronouns. Recuerda, esos son pronouns, ok? Pero esos que son? Esos son receivers. Mira, son receivers. Nunca hacen una acción, siempre reciben. They receive the action, ok? Look, they receive the action. Uh, I... Si yo hago la acción, performer. I work, I study, I drink coffee, okay? But if I, if I am the receiver, I become, si yo soy quien recibe la acción, me convierto en me. But there, okay, there has to be a different subject performing the action. Tiene que haber un diferente sujeto haciendo la acción. What do you mean? Okay, example, look. Usemos el verbo visit, ready? Visit. How do I say look? Como digo en inglés? Example, look. My family, como digo mi familia, me visita. How do you say that? My family, my family visits me. Right? My family visits me. I am the receiver. Yo soy quien recibe la acción. My family visits me. Okay, good? Next, you is the same. You, you. Como digo alguien? Example, let's say, hey, uh, I, Yo te conozco. I know, I know you. You, solamente sabes que you es ahí, tú eres quien recibe la acción. I know you. Good. Receiver. Okay, next. Number three. If we perform the action, we. But if we receive the action, si nosotros recibimos la, la, la acción, somos us. Good. Listen, okay. ¿Cómo le puedo decir a alguien? Visítanos el sábado. ¿Cómo le dices esto? Visit, visit us. Visit us on Saturday. Again, visit us on Saturday. Next, okay, look. Let's say, mira, good. Estás en el restaurante, ¿cómo le dices? Consíguenos, tráenos café. Get, get us, right? Hey, get us some coffee, please. Get us, get us some coffee. ¿Quién va a recibir el café? ¿Quién recibe la acción? Nosotros. Get us some coffee, okay? Now, next, performer. Si ellos son quien hace la acción, son they. Pero si son ellos quien recibe la acción, son them. And then, remember one thing. They, 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 and them can be people, pueden ser personas, and it can be nouns. También pueden ser cosas, no solo personas, okay? They, them, okay? Look, oh, look, example, let me ask you a question, okay? Let's say, um, oh, look, do you, question, ready? Do you study, do you study the verbs? Do you study the verbs? ¿Qué es el object, eh? The verbs, pero son cosas y son plural. Do you study the verbs? ¿Cómo me respondes? Si los estudio. Yes, I study them. Very good. So, do you study the verbs? Yes, I study them. Good. Example, let's say there's uh, there's some apples on the desk. 
hay unas manzanas en el escritorio. I don't want. ¿Cómo digo que yo no las quiero? Son las manzanas. Yo no las quiero. I, I don't want them. Ya no necesito decir. I don't want the apples. No fácil. I don't want it. Fluent. I don't want it. Remember, okay? Later, you watch this video, okay? I don't want them, but then more fluent, I don't want it. Right, I don't want it, okay? Este, muy común las personas nativas, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo lo dicen? No lo dicen them, pero lo dicen em. I don't want it. Y si te digo, llévatelas. ¿Cómo te digo, llévatelas? Take, pero fluido, take them. Repeat, take them. Take them, okay? Llévatelas, take them. Good, take them. Good, okay? Now example, look. Let me ask you a question. Hey, uh, do you, listen, let's say if, let's say your family, okay, your family, okay, your family lives, let's say your family lives in a different country. Tu familia vive en un diferente país diferente, okay, not in the USA. So then if I ask you, hey, listen, do you miss, do you miss your family? Do you miss your family? ¿Quién es que recibe la acción? Your family, que son ellos. Do you miss your family? Yes, I miss, yes, I miss them. Como digo que ellos me extrañan, ellos me extrañan. They miss, good, they miss me, good, they miss me. Okay, good. Now, the performer, see a performer that has he, right? He works, he studies, he sells food, he speaks English, okay? He works every day, but if if he, if he is the receiver, see, él es quien recibe la acción, se convierte a him. Is it? Como digo, yo lo conozco a él. I know him. I know him. Como digo, example, yo trabajo con él. I work with him. I work with him. Okay, good? Um, el verbo manejar, that right, I can drive. Como digo que yo lo llevo al trabajo. I drive him. I drive him to work. Good. I drive him to work. Good. Next, she, the performer. But if she is the receiver, then it becomes her. Si she is quien recibe la acción, se convierte en her. Okay, look. Let's say if I ask you, hey, look, a question. Do you talk, okay? Do you talk, do you talk to your sister on the phone every day? Do you talk to your sister on the phone every day? Yes, I talk to her. I talk to her. Do you talk to your sister on the phone every day? Yes, I talk to her. I talk to her. Le hablo. I talk to her. Good. No tienes que decir, yes, I talk to my sister. It's just like Spanish, como español. Si hey, tú le hablas a tu hermana por teléfono todos los días, sí le hablo. Cuando ya sabes a quién es que recibe la acción, sí le hablo. Yes, I talk to her. I talk to her, okay? And last one. Ed, una cosa. Ed y el receiver es lo mismo. Ed. Me ask you a question. Hey, do you, okay, question. Do you like Houston, Texas? Houston es la ciudad, ¿verdad? Es una cosa. Do you like Houston? Yes, I like, I like it. Es una cosa, okay? Más fluido? Yes, I like it. Repeat, I like it. I like it. Imagine, imagine if uh, a friend, a friend brings you a gift. Un amigo o una amiga te trae un regalo, te lo entrega, es una cosa, example. Y lo abres, example. Oh, thank you very much. Y como dices, me gusta. I I like it. Es una cosa, ¿verdad? Una cosa, I like it. Ya no dice, I like the gift. No, I like it. Si fueran, en esa caja vienen dos cosas, dirías, me gustan. I like, I like, I like them. Pero más fluido, I, I like them. I like them. Very good. Okay? So that's the way, well, object pronouns, right? Remember, object pronouns are receivers. Esos son receivers. Nunca dices una oración con object pronouns. Con object pronouns, siempre hay alguien más que hace la acción y alguien más el receiver quien la recibe. Okay, good? Good. They remember one thing. Object pronouns 
always come after a verb. Siempre van a venir después de un verbo o después de una preposición, porque son receivers. Antes de una preposición siempre hay un verbo en inglés. Drink with, study with, cook for. Example, ¿cómo puedo decirlo? Si están ahí los niños, yo digo, yo cocino para ellos. ¿Cómo digo esto? I cook for them. I cook for them. Okay, very good. Now, guys, okay, there is an exercise on the board. Classwork. Okay, classwork. I already have this in a pizarrón para que lo hagas con object pronouns. Okay, you have to fill in the blank. Okay, you have to fill in the blank using object pronouns. Tienes que llenar el espacio usando el object pronoun. Okay, look. En paréntesis, yo puse los nombres de quién va a ser cada object, pero tú vas a usar el object pronoun. Okay, look. Example, mira este. Show I the report. No se dice eso. ¿Cómo sería? Muéstrame, reporte. Show. Very good. Yo soy quien recibe la, la acción. Okay, come on. Show me. Show me the report. Show me the report. Good. Okay, are you ready? Um, I was going to give you guys some time to see if you want to do it, but um, let's let's do it as a group. Lo vamos a hacer como un grupo, okay? Good, good. So, two. Mira, ask, el verbo ask, okay? Aquí está funcionando ask como pedir. Mira, ask Carlos to throw out the trash. Pero si hace a veces que hablamos de Carlos, como dices, pídele. Pídele al que tiene la basura. What is it? Ask. Ask him. Right? Si ya sabemos que es él. Ask. Ask him. Hey. Ask him to throw out the trash. Ya sabes que es Carlos. And ask him. Pídele. Ask him to throw out the trash. Mm -hmm. Two. I'm sorry. Three. Ready? Mira. Let's text Carla the address. Pero si ya sabemos que hablamos de Carla, ¿cómo digo? Textémosle a ella. Textémosle la dirección. Let's text her. Very good. Let's, one more time. Let's text her the address. Hey, Carla's ready. She's waiting. Okay? Let's text her the address. Textémosle la dirección. Let's text her the address. Okay? Four. Ready? Okay? I, I don't, I don't need that chair. What am I talking about? The chair. Una silla, una cosa. I don't need that chair. ¿verdad? I don't need that chair. Good. Es una cosa. Como te digo, quédatela. Keep it. Keep, keep it. ¿verdad? Como si a ti te gusta. Hey, quédatela. Keep it. Repeat. Keep it. Keep it. También en un restaurante, si lo pagas y el mesero o la mesera te va a devolver el cambio, ¿cómo le dices quédatela? Keep it. Keep it. Es una cosa. Keep it. Good. Five. Ready? Okay. Here. Can you? Oh, this is. Let's say. Let's pretend. Let's pretend we're having dinner at a restaurant. Estamos cenando en un restaurante. O llegamos al restaurante. In this example, the server. The server approaches us. Verá la uh, approaches us. El uh, mesero la mesera. Nos hace. Nos acerca. Verá se acerca a nosotros. Okay. Good. Look. Our request. Qué le vamos a pedir. Nos puedes no. Can you get me and Anna? Pero me and Anna somos nosotros. ¿Cómo es más fácil? ¿Me puedes conseguirnos un menú? Can you? Can you get? Can you get us? Right? Can you get us? A nosotros. Can you get us? Right? Can you get us a menu? Can you get us a menu? Okay? One more time. Can you get us a menu, please? Okay? Or more polite, could you? Right? Could you get us a menu, please? Okay? Good. Six, ready? My parents, my parents are at the door. Ya están ahí en la puerta. My parents are at the door. Como te digo, son mis padres, ¿verdad? Déjalos entrar. Como en otras palabras, ábreles. Déjalos entrar. Let, let them, let them in. Now, listen to me. Let them in. Repeat, let them in. Repeat, let them in. Fluid, okay? Let them in. Right, let them in. Dejalos entrar. Let them in. Abre esta puerta. Let them in. Okay? Good? Good. And, <coughs> excuse me. Number seven. Can you, okay, can you drive Miguel to the store? We already know we're talking about Miguel. Ya sabes que hablamos de Miguel. Yo te pido, hey, puedes llevarlo a la tienda, pero tú lo vas a llevar manejando. What is it? Can you? Can you drive? Very good. 
can you can you drive him? Can you drive him to the store? Can you? Okay, again. Can you drive him to? Can you drive him to the store? Mm -hmm. Can you drive him to the store? Okay. Sure. No problem. Okay. Good. How was it? Easy. Easy. Piece of cake. Got it. Okay. Good. Give me some examples. Okay. Good. So then. Hey, uh, so this is video two, now example. Remember, there's video number one. Is that video number one? Donde está la explicación de cómo usar los object pronouns. Okay, this is video number two, which is classwork. ¿Verdad? Como un ejercicio para que practiques. But then, before you do it, okay, in order for you to get the most out of it, para que puedas aprovecharlo al máximo, al máximo primero ve el video uno, para que veas la explicación, okay? Object pronouns. Me, you, us, them, him, okay, her, it. Hey, look, watch. Si está el video aquí, ya está listo, it's ready. Como te digo, velo. Como te digo esto? Watch it. Watch, right? Entonces, en vez de decir, watch the video. Ya sabemos que hablamos del video, watch it. Repeat, watch it. Míralo, watch it. Y si son los dos videos, el number one y number two, te digo, míralos, what is it? Watch. Watch him, right? Watch him. Good, okay? So, uh, well, let me know if you have any questions, okay? Uh, give me some examples. Déjame unos ejemplos con los object pronouns, okay? Now, okay, good. Don't forget to like it. Dale like, okay? Y sígueme para más.